Hey, what's up, Ron? What's the plan for the trip? The the plan is so yeah, so we'll take the route to Switzer Lake. When we hug the lake and pass that little water crossing, that's all like dirt road, like in the mountains, uh, that leads all the way to the top to flagpole knob. But uh once we're down there by the lake, there's isolated campsites, all primitive, nothing's nothing's marked, it's just open space. You'll see like a circle, you know, like a little fire pit. So it's first come, first serve. So what I was thinking is we could do that uh, since we're having a long day of driving. We'll try to, there is, there was a couple of huge spots that you could fit like 10 rigs or whatever more along the, along the creek. So we'll camp there on the bottom in the forest. And then the next day I'm thinking we'll pack up. We'll drive all the way to the top of the mountain, which is super dope. And we can decide if we want to camp on top or if there's some other there's some other campsites on the side on the other side of the mountain as well sounds like a plan to me let's do it
Oh my god, what is that, bro? <laughs> make you. <laughs> 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 Hello, everybody. And that's a wrap for our first day here at George Washington National Forest. Uh, we were lucky enough to find a campsite by Switzer Lake that was large enough to accommodate all of our trucks. Uh, it's now the morning of day two and we're preparing to leave here and head up towards Flagpole Knob. The ride will be approximately two hours and the final elevation will be a little over 4,300 feet. Good. Good morning. Good morning. What you got there? Lovely. <laughs> nice shoes. Oh, thank you. You got it. You can do it. There you go. What does five hour life mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> What does it mean to you? It's all about getting out of the city, enjoying life and nature, and my Wranglers. <laughs> Whenever everybody's ready, we can start doing our thing. He's like, I want to make a fire, so. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> And we're rolling. You got it. Yeah, you got it, bro. Straight, just like that. Keep going. Alright, I think the back should be good. Nice and slow. Yeah, you got it, you got it. You got it. You! you. Keepers! That's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? That was wild. Yeah, you got it. You got it.
Passenger, dude. Passenger. Yep, we got it. Going. Keep keep that line. Keep passenger a little bit. Low, slow down. Slow down. Keep going. Go ahead. You got it. You got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. You got it. Oh man! <laughs> you got it easy with the throttle. Yeah. Walk and talk, man. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> My man about to full send it. <laughs> Yo, you about to go off that little cliff right there. <laughs> Light work, bro. Light work? Yeah. All right. Send it. We got a small renegade coming You gonna, you gonna flex it? <laughs> it's like a little dip. Yeah, don't go straight. You gotta go on the like side. Slowly. There you go. So we were lucky enough to find an area to fit all the rigs in, only a few hundred feet away from Flat Hole Knob. Of course, the first order of business was to set up camp and get the food going. After some good conversation and some good food, uh, so while some of the guys chose to hang back at the site, a few of us decided to go exploring just a little bit. And let me tell you, we definitely weren't disappointed.
I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, he's coming after me. I want to take a little challenging line. Uh, yeah, don't try that one though. <laughs> I'm, chill. I'm gonna stop. Uh, you're right there. You you should be uh, challenging right there. No. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, the, yo, Vern. There's another truck that's on the bottom. You're very <laughs> slow down a little bit, man. You good? Just go straight. It's looking good, looking sexy. Go driver. Go a little bit driver. More of an angle. Or you hug the side. Or you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, you good. Oh, 
Oh, you made it. Oh, thank you. Easy peasy. Yo, somebody snapped the universal joint right here. I mean, oh, wait, can I give it one more shot? Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, you, went too far, bro. you went back to the hard part again. Back, back. We'll see. Go for it. Yo, watch out, he's gonna send it. Nah. You know what, yo, you don't, don't go too fast to because if it if it slams down, you'll crack your axle. Oh. You'll snap it. Nah, yo, you might go into that rock, man. <laughs> yo, you had it. Just like hug. Actually, if we put a rock here, you'd probably be all right because then it wouldn't be. The thing is that he's kicking those rocks back hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess try again. You almost had it. You were like right there. Yeah. If you're gonna get if you're gonna get momentum, stick to a little bit to the side too, so you don't wanna right <laughs> slam on the rock. Yeah, I'm yeah. At this point like the other side looks so much drier. <laughs> Yo, just watch out. <laughs> what? There's a there's a there's one rock holding you back. What the fuck? It's a big rock though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you yeah. go. Yeah, send it. <laughs> Just watch out over there. Don't, don't go stop, too crazy. Don't stop, don't stop. Hell yeah. Wait, they're coming. Yeah, yeah. So that wraps up the second day. After dinner, we uh, relaxed around the campfire, exchanging stories and tips. On overlanding and off-roading even though we've been out a few times we still have a lot a lot to learn there goes that sun Sunday morning we're airing up and uh, working our way out of the out of George Washington Forest overall what an amazing trip Virginia never disappoint guys we're gonna make a way out of here and we'll see you on the next one if you like what you saw like and subscribe and thank you for watching